Hello Acadiana and thanks for joining us for Live from Studio 10. We begin today in Lafayette with news of Paul Bro Middle School. Yes, it's true. There are talks about closing it. According to several sources, including the president of the 100 black men of Greater Lafayette, he says Thursday there will be a community meeting at 6 p.m. at the downtown convention center in Lafayette on Buchanan Street. Before that, he speaks to News 10's Renee Allen about what he calls appalling. The president of 100 Black Men of Greater Lafayette is out in Trahan. Trahan tells me that he met with the school superintendent. And is that that meeting that he learned that the closure of Pablo Middle is an option that's being considered. Well, the closure proposal for Pablo Middle involves moving the gifted and immersion programs, plus a disbursement of the students to two or three other schools. Absolutely against closing the school, in particular, not only what it represents, right, it was the first and only historical black high school in this district that we know that the individual who is named after Mr. Paul Bro, who started education back in, 19, in 1896. He says a number of North Side schools have been closed. Now we're looking at another one. You know, which is, you know, I don't think it's fair, particularly when you look at their concern is capacity and uh, concern about the budget. If there is a fiscal concern, then manage the budget, he says. If it's capacity, then there are other schools in the system under capacity. We understand that everyone has to balance a budget, but, you know, we also take the position that you shouldn't balance your budget on the backs of this community. If closed, and Trahan says, initial talks included transforming the school into a warehouse. And of course that was appalling because you would take um, a, a school within the black community, a school, a historical school such as that, and perhaps convert it into a warehouse space. I mean, we know that the Lafayette Parish School System take out tax dollars and has numerous properties that if they want to, they could build a warehouse. Rahan says there's a possibility that this item will be on the school board meeting agenda next week. Renee Allen reporting for KLFY News 10.